Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today's video, we'll be checking out Readwise, which is, I guess, a reading tool that will help you to improve the way that you're learning from highlights inside of the book. It connects with popular apps like Kindle, even Twitter, and other article collection applications like Pocket and Instapaper. And uh, I did a video a couple of weeks ago with Tiago, and we talked about being able to capture stuff and remember it. And this application might actually be quite a nice fit. So today we're doing sort of review first impressions from myself. I've been playing around with it for a couple of hours now. And uh, as you can imagine, I wanted to share how it works and how and give you a few of my opinions on things like the pricing and much more. Today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. And if you want to skip the queue and get access to Superhuman, you can check it out below. But here's a little bit more about them. Today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. Superhuman is regarded as the fastest email experience ever made. Their users get through their inbox twice as fast as before, with many seeing inbox zero for the first time in years. Curious how it works? Well, there's three parts to it. First, Superhuman delivers fast speed in-app with super speedy interactions, allowing blazingly fast startup, search, and sending mail speeds. Second, by introducing workflows. With carefully crafted snippets and keyboard commands, you can power through email at rapid rates, unknown in current email software. And third, some of the most powerful email triage out there. With split inboxes, email becomes easier to manage with more urgent emails front and center and no email overflow, all personalized to your needs. Superhuman is currently invite only right now with hundreds of thousands of people on the list. We've got a special link below. Head to superhuman.com slash keep productive and learn more there. Thank you to the folks at Superhuman for sponsoring Keep Productive this month. So folks, as you can imagine, Readwise has been out for a little bit of time, a lot of people talking about it. And I remember when I first saw it, it was on Twitter, loads of people were just like replying saying, Readwise, save, thread. And I was like, hey, what's this? So I've been pretty interested in it since then and have finally gotten the time to check it out. Um, and it actually lands at a really good time because you can connect your Kindle account to this and save highlights. I don't have a Kindle account, but I know that my parents-in-law and Becca are getting this uh, a Kindle for me for Christmas. So as you can imagine, um, I'm sort of preparing and gearing up to start saving highlights from there. I know what you're thinking. It's meant to be a surprise or a present's meant to be a surprise, but I'm over 25 now, so I guess... Yeah, you should be a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little, bit, a little bit boring, but I know what I want with, with Christmas this year. So as you can see here, this is your Readwise dashboard. When you get started, you basically sync up with accounts you've already got. In this case, you can actually add accounts or add highlights from uh, Kindle, Instapaper, iBooks, Pocket. You can actually add books that are already on their database um, that you've already read, which is quite interesting, and also connect up Twitter and things like that. Had a few problems with the Twitter to get started. I'll try it out in, in this video to show you how it works. Hopefully it's all working perfectly fine, but you can also do through the web at least, uh, bulk imports, email imports, PDF imports, and things like that. Now I want to touch on the pricing first because I feel like this is something you probably need to know. It has a 30 day free trial, however um, you can get a month free below if you want to get started with that added to your account. Um, using my one, it also gave me a free month just to be clear, um, so benefit to both of us. <laughs> but there is a pricing to it, so for example if you want to um, go on their Readwise Lite plan which only offers the ability to access the app, uh, access and browse your highlight library, use the new highlights from sources, and uh, that's it. It's priced at $4.49 a month, and that's billed annually. Um, but if you want the yearly pricing, it's, oh, sorry, if you want the monthly pricing, it's $4.99 per month. Um, so it's not too bad, but there is a Readwise Plus plan, uh, or Readwise General plan, <laughs> which has organizing your highlights, ex exporting them to Notion and Evernote. We'll show you the Notion one today, and also the broadcast mastery ability and early access, as well as grandfathering in pricing. So as you can imagine, uh, growing in popularity. It says here that they've only got 1,700 other reasons. Um, seems like that seems low. <laughs> Maybe it's because 
after 30 day not pe people upgrade but at the same time I feel like this could be a quite a neat tool at least for my own situation at the moment. So I'm going to show you probably the most impressive part of the tool um, and this is actually going to be inside of the Readwise Lite plan. So you can press daily Readwise. If you've got all your books connected you can access your books and browse the library here. For example if you wanted to connect up um, you know Kindle and things like that their books will appear. Uh, which is very cool. So you can basically import your library there. And also you can add supplementary books. In this case, I added a few that I'm either reading or want to read. In this case, I haven't actually read this one, but you can see that you can add books from their database. In this case, let's go on the Daily Readwise. I've actually done this, but I'm gonna press review more highlights. But basically use this space repetition to bring back highlights or lessons from each book. So for example, in this case, the Productivity Project, Chris Bailey. This is a piece of um, a, a highlight from it that is popular highlight. So this is from my supplementary section. So it's not actually from books I've read, but as you can see here, it's a daily review opportunity. So you can, you can either uh, do a range of things. You can actually tag them straight from here. So for example, if I wanted to add it to productivity, as you can see there, I had a business one connected. So you can actually add tags. You can favorite them, you can edit them. And edit them is pretty neat because you can add an optional additional note below. You can actually see the original highlight and you can even modify this text here. So it's it's quite advanced in terms of this extent that you can modify some of the highlights you're actually clipping. And you can also share it to other social media sites. But the real magic is down here. I'm just gonna zoom in. As you can see here, you can either keep it, which means that it will repeat again later, which is very cool. So you're sort of learning and progressively learning. You can give feedback on it. So for example, if you do, if you want to highlight a show at a different time, so soon, later, in this case, I might press later, it moves me on to the next one. You can also master it. So if you master it, this is quite cool. You can basically either highlight a piece of text or a phrase that you want to test your one next time. So for example, if I saw this or was being quizzed on it for later, it would say, what is about doing more things? As it isn't about doing more things. So you can sort of like test yourself on a certain phrase if it's removed, or you can actually ask yourself a question. Um, you can give yourself a question from um, the actual highlight. Um, so you can actually create questions and get prepared for a mini quiz for yourself later, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's what the mastering ability does. You've also got the ability to discard it and you actually have a location for discarding it. So in this case, if I go to, let's just master it for the sake of this demonstration. So I'll save this as a phrase, so three words and it will get added to your system. But if I go over to here, if I go to discards, um, you can see here that I discarded one of these earlier and you can find them back for later. It's sort of like seeing a deleted tweet <laughs> uh, or discarded passages that you've learned. Um, but if you have a favorites area, I don't have any favorites at the moment, but specific things you've learned, you can see the tags down here, um, all of the tags relevant to each section. So for example, business, you can see the tags that I found uh, on the business category. So it's quite cool. And what's cool as well is you can modify how often each one appears. So for example, if you want this to be quite aggressive because you're learning about it at the moment, or you want this one to appear more, haven't actually read that book yet, um, then that's quite cool. You can actually sort of adjust how often you see stuff. So what's also cool is if I want to do that every single day, I can do that. That's quite handy. Um, I quite like as well the ability to access the tweets that you've saved as well. So for example, actually it did work. There's a tweet that I want to resurface from Joel that has an article inside of it, um, but one that could be quite helpful for learning. So it also will resurface tweets that appear as well. So that's very cool. You can actually go into settings and change the preferences on tuning. So you can change how many highlights appear in that section every day, how the recenti, recent, recency, recency, Jesus, um, or how much whether older or newer come up and also quality filter based on the, you know, bonus highlights and sentence fragments as well. So you can customize tweets and how often they appear as well. You can customize book and customize how many times supplementary books. And so you can really make a lot of modifications in terms of what's coming into that daily review. Now I probably wanna show you the coolest part of this is if you have the Readwise full plan, you can get the Notion export. It does work in Evernote and Rome. I haven't tested them, but I'll try and include a video that does. This is in beta. 
So I'll show you how it works. You can actually modify a lot of the settings that you've got in it. So for example, you can change the automatic export and how you want it to appear in there, whether it exports a daily daily reviews, which is pretty cool. So if I go over to my Notion, when I exported it, it came up with a Chrome extension. You have to download the Chrome extension, sign it to your Notion, and naturally it will appear. So this is whatever's in my library. So for example, it creates a um, sort of a database um, that helps connect to Readwise, which is very cool. Um, and as you can imagine, it gets updated daily. You have this daily reviews area, which is the thing that we showed you at the start, the daily Readwise. And as you can see here, it'll bring in any of the lessons that I've um, taken in, and you can even select it as reviewed as well. So they basically, sort of capture the things that you've learned, which is very smart and very cool. So that automatically creates itself, so you don't have to do any of the legwork, which is pretty cool, um, None, no sort of stress as you get started, but it, it updates daily, I believe, so the sync isn't exactly real time, um, but as you can imagine, something there uh, looking to work on, I think. So as you can imagine in the trial, they're not gonna give you total access to it, I believe, because obviously else you would take full advantage of it and quit the Readwise plan. So you're able to export up to 10 past books and articles that you have there. Okay, so that Notion export's pretty cool and something that I probably want to use if i am got my Kindle and sort of clipping things to there. And when I get tweets and the Instapaper set up, I'll show you how the Twitter works. Let's go over to Twitter. So if you wanted to save a thread on Twitter, all you have to do now is press at Readwise and put save thread. But if you just wanted to say one tweet, you just type save. Okie dokie, so it takes a few minutes, but as you can see here, it will save this as a thread in Sunny Area. And as you can see, it gives you stats on other people's use of collection, which is very cool. And it actually tells you that um, this is the reason why this has been the total amount of saves, so that's quite cool. If you wanted to do this privately, all you would have to do is send a direct message to Readwise and actually just forward it to them. And what they'll do is do that privately. So in case you didn't want to share it to the world that you were saving something very specific, then that's quite cool. So in terms of tweets, you can find them here. And as you can see here, you can pop them open and be able to see exactly all of the threads that were available. So that's quite cool in being able to learn. You can also sort them when they were last read and things like that. Okay, so a feature that I was pretty impressed with is the mastery board. So remember I mastered those, the, those uh, features and they quiz you on it later. These will come back, but as you can see here, uh, you can actually go into a flashcard edition of it. So if I was, as you can see here, I've got the productivity project and the lesson. And in this case, it will bring up a, it says 100% recall, but it will actually bring it up in 21 days. Um, and as you can see, you can review the card if you want to, and it will actually show you the success so far of how well you've done it. Um, so the recall data will be collected. Uh, so that's a very neat. The other thing I thought was really cool is the broadcast ability. So for example, as I talked about a lot, digital gardening is on the rise. People are looking to share some of the lessons they're learning. And for those people who want to tune in to what other people learn, this could be a cool feature. So for example, if you wanted to follow my read wise, I don't know why you would, uh, but you can see here that you can broadcast my highlights. So if anything I favorite, um, what it will do is it'll update it weekly, a broadcast email, and you can sign up using this link. So if I change it to B, well, I'll keep it at B Francesco. Uh, if it's live, <laughs> I'll let you know, um, but it will include all of my highlights from the week. So if you want to follow along to what I'm reading and capturing across the week and uh, favorite, then that's pretty cool. But you can modify like every other day, daily, um, and be able to sort of set up an email subscription to some extent of what you're learning. Um, so that's very cool and very neat. I thought that feature was decent. So I think I demonstrated you can do 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 do. So folks, I think that's pretty much all of it um, in terms of now. I talked about the pricing, I talked about everything else, but I'm obviously looking to get a Kindle, so this is probably why I'm looking at this at the moment. Um, and I did do a video a while ago with Tiago about how I could help to repeat my learning. So I, I would like to set this up properly. They've got an iOS application, to my knowledge at least, uh, that works quite well in terms of um, being able to set up a feed and things like that, and you can add highlights from there. 
Overall, pretty impressive application. I'm not going to give it a review, but I'll give you guys uh, a 20-day uh, update over on my own channel. So if you want to follow along there, Francesco D'Alessio, it'd be great to have you. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Uh, please do make sure to subscribe. Check out Superhuman Blue. Check out Readwise as well below because you'll get that 30 days free, and so will I. <laughs> um, but it would be great to see what your opinions are. So do use the comments below to share what you think of the app. Anyway, folks, oh, also, if there's people who are already using it, do share your opinions about it below because it'd be great to hear how people are getting on with it. But, folks, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and uh, hope you enjoy this one. Cheers.